What is up, everybody? Welcome back. Greg here once again, coming at you live, fresh off of Funnel Hacking Live 2023, where we saw tons and tons of amazing speakers, entrepreneurs jump on stage and share their stories and share what's been working with them. And on top of that, we also saw a ton of amazing features released for ClickFunnels 2.0. So unlike previous years where they had the state of the union call and Todd and Russell sort of announced what to expect in the next 12 months, they went up and they announced features that are live right now without foreshadowing what's coming. So last year they kind of had these different phases up on the board and they were like, we're in phase one and here's everything you can, you can expect by the end of it. And you know, a lot of those features came out or trickled out. Some came in forms we maybe didn't expect, but this year they were just like, Hey, here's what they are and they're live. And I actually haven't got to play around with too many of them just yet. So what I'm going to do is, over the next few videos, I'm just going to jump into my account and I'm going to play around with these features, see if we can figure them out, see if we can get them working. I got them unlocked in my account. You had to be there live to get them unlocked. Um, I think they said it's an early Christmas present. So for those of you that weren't at Funnel Hacking Live 2023, you can probably expect to see these available in your account by then. Um, there was like an upgrade URL you had to go to, enter your email and it unlocked these features, I'm sure that got shared on social media and different discussion forums all over the place. I think it's closed down now. So all that just to say that if you want me to provide you with the means to upgrade, I probably can't do that for you, unfortunately. But let's jump in. Um, my account is upgraded. You can see um, one thing that stands out right off the bat is it actually says message up here. Right after I upgraded, this wasn't there. This is a feature that they announced where you'll actually be able to manage sort of conversations with your contacts. Um, I need to go back and rewatch the State of the Union call. My understanding is that it can be used sort of like as customer support for your funnel. So you can like set up support agents in here and have them manage conversations. Um, you can send outgoing messages with it. And I think the idea here is to eventually have, you know, CRM type features where you can have discussions with leads and buyers and, and sort of organize all of your contacts, buyers, sellers, everything, conversations, messages, whether that's email or text message, all in one nice little place. It seems like from what I saw in the presentation, it seems like it's maybe sort of there, but not completely just yet. So I haven't used it yet. So let's go ahead and check it out right now. I'm just going to click here on message hub. It's going to take me to this screen where at first, when I first saw this, it was actually giving me an error, but now it's saying, Hey, you are able to get started. So it looks like right now it's just emailing inside of message hub. And it says, where would you like to address these emails? So I have some different emails in my account that I can use for this. So I'm just going to use this one. Um, I believe if you wanted to set up other ones, you would just do that inside of your marketing settings. You can set up different from email addresses there inside of your marketing settings. I'm just going to use one here that's already configured. And okay, it's doing something. It's loading it in. All right, it's, it's syncing contacts. So I guess it's pulling all of my existing contacts in my account right here into my message hub, which is very interesting. Um, I'm excited to see what the UI looks like. I'm excited to see how we organize contacts. They showed a quick little screenshot at the event on stage, but we all know those, those can change, right? It can change from screenshot to actually what you get access to, but this looks like it might take a few minutes. Who knows if my progress bar, bar will even actually hit the end. A lot of times with things like this, I end up having to pause and refresh and then all of a sudden it's good to go. So. We won't sit here and listen to me ramble for the whole time. We will just take a quick pause. All right, so at least for me, my progress bar did not get past that little quarter. I refreshed my screen and it says that we're good to go. So it says, connect with your contacts more personally with Message Hub. Please wait while we prepare your Message Hub account. And then it says, create a Message Hub account, check, syncing contacts, check. So I guess if I click here, it'll open my dashboard. All right, so it looks like it's, it's it's its own separate app. Okay, wow. 
I did not expect that. Very cool. So it looks like it's taken all of the tags that I've set up in my account and created chat labels with those. I had a bunch on this one. Yeah, so these are all tags that I've created in my account. So let's see if I go to my lead squeeze assignment two opt in here. Oh, actually, at least at this time, hasn't added any context into those, but it has given me these chat labels. Very interesting. I can create new labels from here as well. Interesting. I wonder too, I got here pretty quickly. It may be doing other things in the background, but I did not expect this to be a completely separate app. Very cool. So yeah, like right now I'm on my dashboard, if I click here on message hub, yeah, it's always opening it in a new tab. Very cool. Okay. So let's see what we can do inside of here. So it seems like any conversation that's started will be listed right here. Mentions unattended. So I guess these will be for incoming notifications. I have nothing under all. I have one. Oh, and it's an example from Todd. It says, welcome. Okay. So I open up this conversation with Todd It says, Hey, welcome to your new message up email inbox to get up and running. Please configure your email provider to automatically forward all messages you receive at my email to the intake address for this inbox at, okay. If you're running into any trouble, please reach out to support at clickfunnels.com. Interesting. So if this is the case one, I hope we have <laughs> some documentation that will show us how to set up this forwarding, but two, if I need to do that just for my email in general to forward to this specific, uh, address, whatever email you're using on here, um, I would probably just have it dedicated to this platform. So I'd probably just make a support email address or a messaging email address and use that here. So I would go into my marketing settings, set up that from email address set it up in my email hosting before that, like create that custom email address and then connect that to my ClickFunnels account so that I could use it here. Because if I set up all my emails at this email address to come into here, it could get very, very confusing because all my personal email, emails are gonna show up in here. So I would have a dedicated email just for my message hub. So that's the first thing I'm thinking of when I look at this, okay? And uh, at the time of this recording, I actually can't set this up for you because I don't have a real custom email address set up right now. So I'll have to come back in another video and maybe um, create that custom email and show how, how I would set that up. Again, this is just first looks at Messaging Hub. Once I kind of figure this out and master it a little bit, I'll do a little bit more for you guys inside of here. Okay, so that's where all the conversations are gonna live. We got this little message and that's how you kind of set it up so that messages would start coming into here. But let's see if we click on email. So this would be any incoming emails. And then I guess you can add this onto your site and it would show you here any messages that come in through the site. We can, other, we can add other inboxes as well. Ooh, very cool. It looks like we can connect it to Messenger, to WhatsApp, to SMS, Telegram, do our own API. Wow, okay. So, I haven't tried any of these yet. I don't know how easy they will be to set up, but this could be huge, right? This is more than what they kind of led us to believe in the state of the union, honestly, right? If I can do SMS right from here, okay, I can use Twilio or something called bandwidth. All right, so lots of videos I'm gonna be creating for you guys in the future. I've used Twilio for tons of SMS marketing in the past. Ah, uh, this, is, this is going to be a game changer. And look, we can do agents in here. We can set up different agents. It's pulling through my whole team for that. We can create teams inside of here. If we want to do like our support tickets inside of here, we can create custom attributes, create automations. Very cool. So this is awesome. If you create different inboxes, you can say like when an email comes in from 
you know, this specific email or to this specific email address, send it to this uh, inbox inside of here. Okay. Wow. So many cool things. Chat integrations. We can, we can do web hooks. I wonder if there's actually any dashboard apps right just yet. You still have to do custom with that. I thought so. But uh, lots of power here, right? If they start creating integrations for Messaging Hub. So cool. Chat applications. You know, Google Train. Wow. You can build your own chat bots. You can even connect ChatGPT. They're open AI. Okay. Wow. Are these configurable yet? Okay. I'm not going to do that right now, but we will definitely end up connecting that in later on. Okay, let's go back to chat contacts. Again, right now I'm just seeing the one example. Let's see what happens if I add a new chat contact. We'll add myself. We won't do phone number. Okay. And there's all the data you can create for a contact right off the bat. Okay. So it's in there and here's me. I wonder if from right here, if I can start a conversation, let's open up view details. We can add notes right here. New message. So it's going to come from my email. So this is pretty cool. I can send them an email right from here. I can CC people. Message can't be empty. Again, this is with zero configuration. I haven't really configured much, but I just sent them an email from this contact. I wonder now if I go back to them, I can do new messages from here, edit, merge them with another contact, previous conversations. Oh, it does show up in here. Look at this. Okay. On my other screen, I'm going to go into my inbox and see if I got that email. Look at that. I got the email right away. Here it is. So I don't know if my response is going to work because I didn't set up that forwarding rule, but let's see. Remember we had that message from Todd saying to set up the forwarding rule. But then again, because it came from inside of it first, it might actually work. Not seeing it just yet. No way. Okay, so this is what I've wanted forever inside of CF 2.0, a way to create your messages and have it go back and forth right from inside of my account. This is epic. This is insane. So obviously this is just the tip of the iceberg. I just wanted to see if the message actually goes through. So you realize how powerful that is? It's like you get a lead through one of your funnels. Say it's like an application funnel. You're going to get all the responses and everything. You might have tried calling them already. It doesn't work. You send them an email right from here, and then it's going to keep your back and forth inside of here this entire time. So I can come in here, see the status of this lead whenever I want to communicate with them back and forth right from here, right? Like from the marketing settings inside 2.0, I can send a broadcast email. I can send um, like one-off messages, automated messages, there's no way to, for me to start that one-on-one -on -one conversation where if I'm like a salesperson, I need to have that and have it all organized in one place. And now I can find this contact inside of here, right? I can find this contact and go to, actually, let's go back. Let me see if there's an easy way to go back to the profile. Maybe I just hit back a couple times here, right? I can go into this contact under my contacts I can go to previous conversations. It'll show this email. Once I configure the text messaging, it'll show the text messages. If I configure WhatsApp, it'll show the WhatsApp messages. This is so freaking awesome. I'm so excited to play around with this more. 
Again, this is probably just the tip of the iceberg. It looks like there's reporting inside of here, right? Oh, this is so cool. It looks like there's chat campaigns. I haven't even touched that. I, I imagine this is how you automate the messages coming from here. And then you can see those conversations. You can do mass, right? So I could select some of my tags, send them all a message and sort of see how it performs inside of here. And let's see what else we have all oh, right. All those settings where we can connect all the other things. So guys, this is like a complete separate app, <laughs> all the same price that you've already been paying to use with ClickFunnels 2.0. So I'm super excited about this. Let me know in the comments if you're excited about this. Maybe you've played around this a little with this a little bit more than I have and have figured out something really, really cool. But just from the surface level here, the one little test that we did, this is a game changer. This is super awesome. And it is going to be amazing to see what all the funnel, ha funnel hackers, all the other funnel builders uh, figure, figure out with this, right? Once we start seeing people discover really unique ways to use this, I think this is a game changer for everybody's marketing inside of their businesses so check it out guys have fun play around with it let me know what you found smash that subscribe button if you haven't yet and i'll see you in the next video bye everybody